to show you how to uh, disassemble a Kenmore Elite Calypso wash motion washing machine to access the pump and check for a clock. The tools that you're going to need are a socket wrench with a 5 16 inch um, piece, a pair of pliers, and a flathead screwdriver. Step one is you want to unplug your washer from the power supply. So I do it just like that. Uh, next, you want to disconnect the water from the washer. Um, and I'm going to do it right here. Okay. So water is disconnected, and we can remove the, the water pipes from the washer. There's three bolts right here. You just pull it forward and lift it out. Okay, so this is where the drain pipe is. Um, so all your water in the washer will come down into this little reservoir. So this is the pump right here. So if you were getting a flood error code, what could happen is you might have a clog in your drain pipe. You might have a clog one of these two pipes or you might have something jammed in your motor which is what happened to me remove these clamps um, just use your flathead screwdriver just kind of pull it off they might fall down all right so now this guy once you remove those clamps, this thing will come right off. Here's the piece that we would look for. So you can look for clogs in either of these two pipes, anywhere in the drain pipe. And what you can, you can't actually really see, but inside these two pipes is this spinning mechanism. There's like a wheel in here that's spinning. When I, when I actually pulled this out, I actually saw a bunch of cloth just sticking out of my pipe. So I instantly knew that there was a clog in here and I had to pull it, rip it out and I had to use pliers to get bits and pieces out. So that was the issue with my washer.